Hello there, welcome to my channel. In this session today of today, we are going to be merging files from various sources using a PINFO. Let's assume we have created a form and we have shared this form to various individuals to go out to the field and collect data. Now each individual has come up with has come back with return or has returned with the data they have collected and we need to merge them into a single Excel sheet so that we can proper analyze them. Okay, how do we do that? First, we open a P info. We open the create form. Now we are in the create form. We're going to open the form that we created already. If you check in the previous video, we created a form. We're going to locate that form. That form is inside projects. My first question there. My first question there. This is the form. Okay, good. So we see that this is inside a P info. It is in local disk F. Okay, it's in local disk F. So I'm just gonna close this. Then I want you to go to local disk F. Go to local disk F. Open a P info. Open project. My first question here. I want you to copy this folder. That folder is copied. Now let's assume. We have various sources coming with information. So we're just going to create a new folder in drive D. We'll create a new folder in drive D and we'll title it records. We'll title this folder records. So these are the records individuals have collected. We we'll title it records. Now, inside this folder records, we're going to paste that questionnaire which we have copied. Let's call this, let's rename it to my first questionnaire one okay so this is the result this is result from the first candidate the first person who has brought data so we have the second we're going to rename this to my first questionnaire two okay we paste again we have my first questionnaire three so let's assume three persons went out to the field to collect data and they have brought the results from their various computers we already saw in the previous session how to extract or how to import data from the mobile device so this time around we are merging various ap info projects of the same form okay we have this so we have that in the previous session we saw we entered 10 records in this form so we're just going to open the form now at this point how do we let's close that how do we merge this information we come to this uh, info interface we go to remember i told you in the last session that there are two ways in which you export data in to an Excel sheet in App Info, we can either use a visual dashboard or we use the, the the classic. So let's go to classic. We're going to open classic. Good. Classic is open. Now we'll be reading that those App Info projects that we have saved in that location. So to do this, let us go to read. When you click on read, a new window is going to open as such. You have recent data source. We don't want this, okay? We don't want this recent data source. Then we have database type. The database type is AP Info Project. Now let's browse the location. The location is drive D. It's drive D, and we have records. We're going to take the first record. Open that. It's open. Good. Now you have to select. You see, okay, it's not highlighted. When you select this form okay will be highlighted and you take okay it's gonna load that form you see we have 12 records we have 12 records in that form because we saved two already in the previous session we saved two records and we imported 10 from the mobile device so we have 12 records good now we need to write these 12 records into an excel sheet how do we do that let's go to write write bracket export good a new window is going to open now we are not replacing we are appending okay 
So at this point, what is the output format? Remember I told you we have to select the output format. At this point, we're going to take Microsoft Excel 2097 to 2003. Okay. Then our connection information. Our connection information, just as before, we are going to create. Oh, there was there was already there was already an Excel sheet in that in that folder. There was already an Excel sheet in that folder. So we're going to save it inside records. We save it inside records. My first um, save it inside record. We have we're gonna tie to it health questionnaire. Health questionnaire. Questionnaire. Good. We open. We take OK. They'll ask for a table. Okay. The destination table. We're going to give it table 1 as before. Table 1. Good. Now we can click on OK. Good. We have exported. Export completed successfully 12 records written so this is this process is done now if you check program editor you see that we have performed a read operation once we have performed a write operation once now let's clear this output we, we wish now to add the file in the second folder to that in the third folder in the in the first folder sorry to that in the first folder so we are going to read that second folder we're going to read that second folder records we open the second folder we select the second file good we remember that this file since we duplicated is equally going to have 12 records so we click on ok now we have 12 records already you see we have performed the second read operation okay now let's perform the second write operation now at this point we are selecting we are selecting we created my first questionnaire already no 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 we are selecting before selecting this we have to choose output format yes we have to choose output format before we get there good this is inside records we are choosing what is inside records okay now we open that we click ok now where you have destination table you are not supposed to create another destination table because there is already a table in that file so you click on this drop down you're going to see a table then you select the table and you click on ok now these two records you see export completed successfully 12 records written these 12 records have been added to the 12 that is already existing so we now have two read operations and two write operations let's perform the third case so we are reading the third folder we are reading the third folder good it's gonna load 12 records equally now we are writing it into select the output format 97 we are writing it to that same location you understand we are writing it here and the table is table one we click on ok and it's done so if we go and check that file we should have 36 records in that file now if you check we have what three read operation and three write operations so this is how we perform how we match data from various sources using a pin for all of these are tricks to help you collect as much data as you can during your during your research because you may not have time to walk around with the info and be collecting so it will be easy for you to install a info in your maybe your friend's mobile phone you drill them on how to collect this data and they are going to do the work for you you understand good so let us go and check the folder containing Good, we are already inside. This is it. Let's open this question there. 
good. You look, if you see with this our questionnaire, okay? If you check, we have 37 records. Yes, we are having 37 records because we have one rule here which is carrying the equation or which we can call the header. So you see, our 36 records are inside here. Now, when we create this file using a pinfo, there are some columns that a pinfo will introduce that are not necessary for our study. So, in pre processing, we're going to delete all of these these columns okay i think we should use this file for pre-processing so we are going to stop this session now in the next session we'll be looking at how to perform pre-processing of data okay see you in the next session